out the... video, Turner tells the officer he's harassing her in the parking lot of her apartment complex. Me. Turner's family says for years she struggled with paranoid schizophrenia, and they say she complained to them before about encounters with the same officer who shot her. Baytown police say they're investigating those claims, but say the officer pulled the trigger after Turner grabbed his taser and used it against him. Today, the family questioned if the officer had been tased. At one point in the video, Turner tells the officer she's pregnant. Baytown police say that wasn't true, but critics of the confrontation say that shouldn't matter. This Baytown, Baytown officer did not care that she was pleading that she was pregnant. He continued to shoot anyway. That was the hatred at the highest level that we've ever seen. A makeshift memorial at the site where Pamela Turner died. Turner's daughter and residents of this Baytown apartment complex promising to keep her memory alive. The rapper Trey The Truth says he'll do the same. My main thing is I don't want this to be a situation where it gets swept under the rug. At a small rally nearby, community activists calling the deadly confrontation between 44-year-old Turner and the unidentified Baytown police officer unjustified. The shooting was captured on cell phone video that went viral on social media. She posed no threat to him. He posed a threat to her. Turner's family says she suffered from paranoid schizophrenia and that it was widely known in the community, including Baytown police who had previous encounters with her. A lawyer working with the family says the officer violated protocols. Someone that you know to be suffering from a mental health condition, you don't encounter them alone. In fact, you call a special team, an officer who's trained to deal with individuals who are suffering from a mental health condition. Baytown police say the officer was patrolling the complex and tried to arrest Turner because he knew she had outstanding warrants. Police say the officer is an 11 year veteran who opened fire after Turner grabbed his taser and used it against him. He made a decision to take three steps, two or three steps back and execute her. I believe that the Fourth Amendment was viol violated in the decision uh, not only to shoot once, twice, but five times. Well, an independent autopsy released today following the confrontation with the Baytown police officer that ended with the death of Pamela Turner. Turner's family and attorney spoke about the results of the autopsy, saying the officer's actions that night were not justified. Channel 2's Brandon Walker is live outside the church where Turner's funeral will be held tomorrow. Brandon? Yeah, Christine, we're at Lily Grove Baptist Church where that funeral will take place tomorrow morning. The Reverend Al Sharpton to deliver the eulogy. That's tomorrow's headline. Today's headline, as you mentioned, the results of that independent autopsy report, which attorney Ben Crump says confirms three things. One, Baytown police officer Juan Dela Cruz shot Pamela Turner three times. Two, he did so from a distance. Three, that independent autopsy report didn't show any signs of Pamela Turner being pregnant. Her family says that's neither here nor there because the cell phone video you've seen and now this independent autopsy report confirms that Officer Dilly Cruz didn't de-escalate the matter. Instead, he fired. This was purposely done. Chelsea Rubin says Baytown police officer Juan De La Cruz intended to kill her mother. The confrontation last Monday caught on camera in the parking lot of Pamela Turner's apartment complex. Baytown police say Turner grabbed Officer De La Cruz's taser, tasered him, and that's when... He had no right to do so. Turner battled schizophrenia. Her family says Baytown police knew that but didn't care. The shooting, they say, is proof. It is truly one of the worst police shootings 
we've ever seen in our lives. According to the independent autopsy, Dilla Cruz shot Turner three times, once in the face, once in the chest, once in the abdomen. The latter two proved lethal. Also revealed two other injuries it's believed were from Officer Dilla Cruz's taser. He shot, he shot, he shot, he shot, and he shot until she was dead. The independent autopsy concluded De La Cruz shot Turner from a distance due to a lack of gunpowder residue on her body. You see it on the video, don't take my word for it. He's retreating, she's still on the ground. That's key, says Pamela Turner's family. Here's why they say so. The amount of distance between the two, there, there was no fear or danger or threat that my mom posed to this man nah. and he took her life. Ashanta Rubin found out on Facebook watching someone's live feed of her stepmom Pamela Turner being shot to death by a Baytown police officer. It's wrong. It could have went a different way. It could have been a better way to handle that situation. They didn't have to go down like that. Reuben told us Turner was a nurse at a hospital for years until her schizophrenia took over. She was mentally unstable and officer knew that because they had been arrested her many a times. Last time she got arrested back here, they tased her. They tased her and then they took her to jail. Neighbors often saw her walking their apartment complex parking lot, picking up trash, talking to herself. Hardly a stranger to Baytown police. It was every day. They had confrontation, they did. Investigators say their officer patrolling had several prior encounters with Turner. This time, while the 11 year vet tried arresting her for warrants, cameras caught them struggling. Witnesses saw Turner tased, grab the officer's taser, use it on him. Then he shot her like this over her five times. Bam, 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 bam. Right away, Ruben knew it was her stepmom. Cause somebody described it. She don't bother nobody. All she do is take her trash out and walk her dog. And I just knew. Neighbors prayed for Turner's three children, all shocked, angry, wanting answers. Now, we also asked if that officer involved was wearing a body camera. Police believe that he was, but they say they are not releasing it at this time. Typical her. She's not a bad person. She didn't hurt nobody. And police say the officer was wearing a body camera, but that video will not be released yet. The district attorney's office is investigating the shooting along with the Baytown police, and that officer is now on three days leave, according to policy. Mm -hmm. right. Terrible. More very, questions there. Yeah, very disturbing. Thank you very much, Nikki. I still can't believe my mom isn't here. I'm still waiting for her to call me every day. The family of Pamela Turner says she suffered from mental illness, but was a loving grandmother who did not pose a threat to anyone. My sister was a human being who had rights, and on that evening, her rights were violated. The family is surrounded by a team of well-known civil rights attorneys in front of the Harris County Civil Courthouse in downtown Houston. They're pushing for a murder charge against the Baytown police officer who fired multiple shots. The shooting Monday night captured on cell phone video by a bystander. Turner's son says they're desperate for answers and haven't gotten them from police. So I had to sit there and replay this video of my mother getting murdered. Baytown police say the officer, who has not been publicly identified, was serving an arrest warrant on her for misdemeanors. They will seek to criminalize her so they can justify this execution.